Hey YouTube, hey guys, uh, it's Monson here. Um, yesterday I uh, put up a video on my three Condor knives. Uh, my Hudson Bay, my Bush Lore, Mini Bush Lore, but uh, I was saying how uh, I use my uh, my Hudson Bay, you know, in the kitchen, cutting up roasts, or ribs, which we have here. Uh, and these are bone-in pork back ribs, um, decent amount. Um, but I just want to give uh, uh, show you a little bit here, um, uh, cutting it up. My uh, Hutz Bay, and that uh, show you uh, going into the ribs and stuff. Showing you how I uh, how I cut it up. Let's get the sheath out of the way and stuff. So just part it up and that. So um, anyways, uh, I'll start with this this one here. Uh, this one here. There's no. Uh, back part so it's got to be on this other part here that I'll be really be going in the bone so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to cut this up into chunks instead of uh, just normal single uh, individual ribs I just take my hand feel for the meat and give it a cut cuts pretty good I uh, it's uh, it's got the weight and everything to it, so uh, uh, cool. We're gonna go through a bone right here. Or are we? Yeah, I guess not. And that, so we're we'll, uh, we got those cut up. We're gonna go to this other one. Yeah. Anyways, um. As I said, I, I love this Hudson Bay knife. It just chops right through. It no problems whatsoever. And that, throw them in the pot. Um, the way I do my ribs is I usually uh, boil them for a while. Um, the reason for the boiling to start is to boil off most of the fat. Um, there's no other no other reason it's not the actual cooking process or anything like that anyways I just went through a fair size amount of ribs and no problem whatsoever but uh, that's my uh, condor my uh, Hudson Bay just doing that my, uh, my ribs I'll boil these and that get most of the fat boiled off them and then uh, I'll end up marinating them for a while um, in a in a medium garlic and barbecue sauce and then uh, I'll barbecue them get them all on the barbecue get them done up that way but uh, what I'm going to do here is now that I got them cut up, I am uh, I'm gonna pull out my uh, my bushler knife. I'm gonna cut up some potatoes, but uh, I'll just show you maybe a way of how I do my potatoes stuff. But anyways, we'll get to that. All right, I uh, went ahead just uh, got my Hudson Bay all cleaned up, not dried up everything I uh, pulling out my bush lore here um, I went ahead and took the liberty and um, peeled my potatoes um, it's just a boring process but um, what I'm thinking of doing here right now is just taking the potatoes just cutting slices in them Ooh trying not to cut it all the way through flip 
flip it over maybe put a couple go on the opposite way that's all I'm going to do to the uh, potatoes for now and once again putting some uh, slices and going through flip it over that's just so the when they're on the barbecue they're going to uh, uh, the heat's just going to penetrate it a little better so as I said we I guess this is kind of a boring process too but shouldn't take that long in just a minute or two I uh, there's four of, oops there's four of us here in the family so I uh, I just do a couple potatoes per person there's uh, there's no real reason why you really have to have a, a tonnage of potatoes anyways I got four left here and if you do happen to cut all the way through oh well life goes on okay three more am I boring you with this process yet I know I am myself but I suppose to got to be done oops eh, cut through again just slicing through okay um potatoes are done they're uh, they're out of the uh, microwave Matt I uh, I went ahead and I got some uh, winter onions just uh, got them peeled up and that got them all ready here kind of um and now some of the things I'm going to use with these potatoes are onions garlic powder there's garlic powder and there's garlic salt um the garlic salt I find worse than salt alone so we really prefer the garlic powder um, anyways we got garlic powder um, we got a little mill here um, really partial to uh, peppercorn um, just love the flavor just got plain old veggie oil nothing fancy and aluminum foil so we'll go ahead thing of aluminum foil I'm going to take potato just set it there and we're going to be repeating this process for every single potato um, and now you can cut up these potatoes into small pieces and do a great big batches like you don't have to do them individually uh, we're going to take our garlic powder you know, sprinkle some on there peppercorn sprinkle some on there Ooh, that may be a little much and I haven't really decided on how many onions to put in I don't know put a couple in whatever your taste is and just take this fold it up now after I, I like to at least double up my foil on my potatoes so I'll be doubling up every single potato doesn't matter how you wrap it in the foil however you like to do it so that's a potato I'll show you again take a piece of aluminum foil potato 
Now, you really don't need a whole heck of a lot of oil. I'm not even putting a full cap on. That's just a little bit. Take some of our uh, garlic powder. Whoa! A lot of garlic powder in that one. A little bit of peppercorn. Um, throw in a couple small pieces of uh, winter onions. Um, fold it up. Fold it. Wrap it. However you see fit. Um, and as I said, once again, I like to double wrap mine. Um, I just find that, number one, it cooks better. Uh, number two, in case it's not perfectly wrapped and sealed up, if you do it the second time, you won't get your oil dripping out of it. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to, where is everything, here it is, and then I'll probably cut until it's all done. Garlic powder, peppercorn, and Let's take uh, a little bigger winter onion here. Don't need a whole heck of a lot of onion. We're getting that in for the flavor. That's uh, that's basically it. So there's another one. And you see me wrap it corner to corner before. I'm going to do it side to side. Side to side, take another piece of foil, and just wrap it up. As I said, basically I just want to make sure nothing leaks out of the foil. Um, there's nothing worse than having oil leaking on your barbecue. Uh, and then you get the friggin' flames just shooting all over the place. A bit of oil. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of peppercorn. A little bit of winter onion. This is basically it. Nothing fancy. We are probably the least fancy people around. So, anyways, there's another one done. Okay. Now, over on the stove top, we have the uh, we have the ribs just boiling away. I'll boil them for half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, the only reason for that is to make sure the uh, most of the fat and also the bone because you'll see the uh, you see the blood and everything coming out of the bone um, for pork especially that's one of the things I worry about um, but yeah we'll just let that boil away. okay um, kind of had a little problem with the barbecue so, and this is what uh, we kind of had to do. We uh, we got to finish dinner in the oven. Yeah, I'd rather have it on a barbecue, but we've got to do this in the oven. So, I don't know if you can see that. Set at 400. Um, got my ribs um, in the. Uh, in the sauce, uh, medium garlic spare rib sauce, nothing fancy. Got my potatoes stacked around it. Anyways, this is going to be dinner. Can't wait, it actually looks good. So, anyways, I hope you, uh, you enjoy this. This all started out just, uh, well, it's just going to be about my, uh, 
Hudson Bay knife, but mm, kind of went a little further. Anyways, enjoy dinner, guys. Bye.